Well, uh, hello everybody. So today we're going to take a look at uh, this JVC VCR right here on the top. Show you the front. And uh, well, Anthony, the VCR king, uh, he found this VCR at uh, a thrift store at Savers. And uh, then uh, a couple of uh, months later, he found uh, another VCR with this mechanism, but uh, one that where you can see the, the the top and the bottom side. And uh, I, th I think it was a Zenit VCR. Well, actually, no, it was it was a, another JVC. But uh, so then uh, when he found the this VCR, the one where the, where you can see the bottom side, I said him I want the, the I want this JVC. And uh, so he decided to give it to me. This is the the first in the the first VCR he was planning to uh, give to me in the the batch of VCRs that uh, he gave me. And uh, I wanted this one because I already have this uh, JVC VCR here. But uh, on this one there is a circuit board that. Uh, is on the top of the mechanism, and you have to raise it up to uh, see the the, ma the loading mechanism. So I wanted this one because uh, there is no circuit board on the top, and the model number is uh, HRVP606U. And uh, the other one on the bottom is uh, the one that I already had. I'll show you the front also. The model number is HRDX62U. And uh, well, this VCR just today it just started having an issue. It did not have that issue uh, before uh, the last time I tested it, and also when uh, Anthony had it, never uh, had that issue. But uh, when the tape is ejected, and uh, when when I power on the VCR, it's trying to insert the tape like uh, like if I was pushing the tape, but I'm um, actually not. As you can see. The loading motor is turning and it's forcing, it's trying to insert the cassette carriage but there is no tape. So there's a, like a, some sort of a mode switch problem. But if I insert this cassette, it uh, works with no problem. Just uh, as you can see, I powered it on and uh, it started having that issue. So that's pretty weird. I've tested it a couple of days ago and they, they did not do that. The HRDX is to you, it doesn't have that issue. And uh, well, that's pretty strange. So right now we're going to uh, open this uh, JVC VCR on the top. Well, uh, I just opened the VCR and uh, well, it did the issue like uh, one or two times, a few times, but uh, now. Now I just powered it on and uh, it seems that it's not doing the issue. So uh, that is pretty well. So I hope it's not going to do it again. And uh, well, uh, if someone knows what causes this issue, uh, tell, please tell me. What I'm guessing is uh, either the mode switch or the switch that detects the insertion of the, the cassette. But still, I don't know where it's located. The switch is uh, probably located on this circuit board here. So right now we're going to insert this VHS tape. So uh, as you can see, when you insert the VHS tape, uh, the the tape uh, the, doesn't load on, on the heads. You have to press play for it to load. But it's one of those VCRs that uh, the tape doesn't load automatically. But uh, when you press play, it loads. And then when you press stop again, it doesn't unload. And as you can see, it uh, only loads it on the the audio head. And what's cool is that uh, there are two uh, half loading arms. There is one that uh, brings the tape here, and uh, one that uh, brings it here. So yeah, two two half loading arms. And now we're going to press play. So uh, you can see play is working just fine. And uh, here there is a jog shuttle. So right now I was turning the, 
this jug. And now we will fast forward. Right now it's uh, fast forwarding the tape. And you can see it's not very fast. So this is a VCR from the, the, the early 90s I think. I can see the date. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't see any manufacturing data there. So as you can see, I just uh, stopped fast forwarding, and I will uh, it loaded the tape. So right now we're going to press eject. So this is a quite interesting mechanism, and uh, you can see right here the drum is uh, pretty special. The drum motor is on the top side, but it's uh, like a special motor. You can see it's this part, and well, this part does not rotate. So this is a uh, quite a special. And here there is a uh, like a this uh, wheel, the tape uh, stabilizer. And uh, here's the loading motor. It's driving a a belt that goes down there yeah to a pulley here and uh, it is driving a warm gear and this warm gear is driving this uh, this cam gear and uh, on the bottom side of the, of the VCR there is a sliding plate and uh, that sl sliding plate drive uh, the mechanism it's sliding uh, in that direction like this and uh, here there is a this gear is driven by the the cam gear, and this gear drives the the two the two arms. And uh, here there is a, a cam elevator gear for the pinch roller. The pinch roller uh, goes down in this mechanism. As you can see, it was pretty strange. It is that it slightly goes down when you insert the the cassette. So I find that mechanism quite interesting. There is a cam gear. So yeah, it's uh, much easier to see the mechanism on this VCR than uh, on the the one on the bottom side because there is the, that circuit board. We're going to take a look at the the other JVC after. And uh, yeah, th this mechanism is very similar to the Philips Turbo Drive mechanism, at least on the top side, because uh, on the bottom side, I think the the Philips Turbo Drive is, is actually quite different. It has uh, like multiple gears uh, and not a sliding plate like uh, this JVC, but the top side is basically the, the same thing. Just uh, on the Philips Turbo Drive, which is a mechanism that exists only in Europe, uh, the loading motor is uh, facing that direction instead of that one, and is driving a belt uh, on the side and a a pulley that uh, uh, drives a shaft, and uh, that shaft in the turbo drive it drives a, uh, that, then it drives that, that warm gear. And now, uh, yeah, and now uh, on this GVC on the uh, on this side there is a, a gear placed vertically. And, uh, this gear is used for the ejection of the cassette. So good thing that right now it's not doing the issue, and uh, at least the, this issue uh, did not prevent the VCR from uh, loading the tapes. Oh no, it's doing it again, loading motors forcing. Okay, I, I don't know what causes this. Oh okay. Well, that's pretty strange. Well, I'm going to uh, keep this VCR anyway because uh, that that issue does not uh, prevent the VCR from uh, loading tapes. And as you can see right now, it's not doing it. After you insert the tape and then eject it, it stops do doing the problem. But when you power off and power on, sometimes it starts to, to do it again.
So that might be a mode switch problem. I do not know. The loading motor is uh, making that sound. And uh, well, uh, right now uh, we're going to uh, plug this VCR to the TV. Okay, well, first we're going to see the back side of the VCR. I'm just going to turn it on the side like this. And uh, right here is the back side. And uh, you can see here it has a plug that uh, is removable, like this. The other JVC on the bot on the bottom does not have that that kind of plug. I'm just going to insert it all the way, just like this. The model number is written here. There is no manufacturing date. And uh, here the input and output, the tuner input and output. It does not seem to do the issue right now. It's like not always doing it, so that's pretty strange. Now I think we're going to uh, see uh, from this angle the tape loading. And the play button, I'm going to press it, it's right here. So this is a very interesting mechanism. Right now the JVC VCR is plugged to my Toshiba CRT TV. So we have these lines uh, that you can see here. This is uh, due to the, my camera and not uh, the TV. And uh, well, you can see the displays uh, are the same on these two JVC VCRs. Just uh, the color of the window is uh, not the same. So that makes the, dif the display look uh, a different color. But uh, as you can see, the writings are at the same place. And uh, well, this is a pretty high-end VCR for. Uh, yeah, as you can see, there are uh, uh, multiple buttons. And uh, well, the, this one is more basic. It uh, has less buttons. And uh, both of these VCRs have a function that is uh, called hyper bass sound. As you can see, it's written here and here. And uh, there is a button that even lacks up for hyper bass sound here is this that uh, lacks on and uh, I don't know what uh, this changes I don't uh, I don't know what uh, this uh, hyper bass function does yeah this VCR has a jog shuttle so that's pretty cool and uh, right here the buttons yeah, that, that, that's pretty cool there is the menu button on the front and here the channels yeah they are uh, yeah, functions for editing. You don't need the remote to use these functions. So I think you can set the date without having the remote. And here there is a button called Family Message. So this is used for... Uh... Oh, just a moment. Family Message. This is used for displaying a message on the TV. As you can see, you can, uh, if you have the remote, you can uh, customize this message. And right now I'm pressing the channel buttons and uh, they are uh, a pre-made uh, message. So those are the messages that, uh, that were already in the VCR and that you can display. So that's pretty unique that uh, this VCR has this, and uh, well, I didn't find a way to uh, to uh, customize the the message uh, without the remote. I think you need the remote to uh, write this message, 
and the, the button lags up and uh, if you press it again it, uh, it will disappear oh, right now it's blinking, I don't know what that does ok I don't, I don't really know but uh, right now we're going to take a look at the picture quality so we're going to insert this uh, Terminator 3 uh, VHS tape so uh, right now I'm using this tape because uh, this is the, the tape that I usually use, but uh, I think I'm going to uh, throw this tape away soon because uh, it's uh, becoming pretty... Uh, it has been uh, a lot damaged by VCRs and it, it is uh, spliced uh, at two places. And uh, this one is in good condition. So right now I'm going to fast forward the tape. Because right now it was just at the beginning of the movie. And well, the, tape, the tape is loaded on the audio head, so it has a real-time counter in hour, minutes, and seconds. The family mo message button is uh, still blinking, so I don't know why it wasn't uh, blinking earlier. And uh, it displays nothing on the screen uh, at the moment. So this is the beginning of uh, Terminator 3 and uh, the picture quality is good Yeah, you're going to see lines on the screen Yeah, as I said, this is due to the to having a camera filming a CRT TV Picture is good So right now we're going to try the... Here it, it is on pause right now The pause picture is pretty good It's pretty good Right now it's uh, advancing uh, frame by frame And well it, it doesn't uh, You can have a frame by frame backwards But if you turn it just faster It's going to uh, just play backwards Right now the movie is playing back backwards So right now I'm turning this uh, Shuttle just uh, a bit uh, at the left, and the, the movie is playing backwards. And well, it has different speeds. And I can fast forward it. Too. And now we're going to throw a record, and since there is no tape, it's going to eject the tape. Uh, no, it's not. It's actually not ejecting the tape on this VCR. It's just doing nothing. So yeah, most of the time, GV VCRs. Most of the time, VCRs uh, eject the tape. Uh, when you press record and that uh, there is no tab, but uh, on JVC VCRs, uh, the tape just uh, uh, it does not eject and the record button does nothing. So right now I think we're going to see this uh, JVC HRDX62U. The issue again. It only does it when uh, power on, but uh, when you insert the tape and eject it, it's not doing the issue. So uh, that does not bother me a lot. Because uh, yeah, when I just use the VCRs with cassette, the VCR with cassettes, it's just doing its job well. This is uh, not preventing the VCR from working. So right now, uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at the, this one, and uh, well, you you can see this uh, this VCR has been uh, purchased at uh, Savers, and this JVC was uh, purchased at uh, Village des Valeurs. So it's just the same company, but. Uh, in Quebec it is called Village des Valeurs, and in the United States it is called Savers. But it's the same store. And uh, well, uh, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. And yeah, this price is in uh, US dollars, and uh, this price is in uh, Canadian dollars. But as you can see, the stickers are identical. 
It's just written savers in the here village des valeurs. So right here is the JVC HRDX6TU and it's uh, currently open. And uh, well, I'm not going to focus too much on this uh, VCR because I have already reviewed it. But uh, here there is a circuit board on the top and uh, well, it flips up. And uh, here there was a metal uh, cover and uh, I removed it. So yeah, it, it is possible to uh, flip the circuit board and uh, well, we can see the mechanism uh, actually pretty well. But on the JVC VCR on the bottom, the other one, you don't need uh, to uh, remove the circuit board. So as you can see, this is pretty special because uh, this is the, the same mechanism and uh, well, a similar power supply, but just the circuit board is placed on, the, on top of the mechanism uh, instead of uh, being placed on the bottom. So that's pretty interesting. So we are going to uh, see this loading, it's the same exact mechanism. And well, as you can see the, the drum is different. And yeah, well after uh, we are going to take a look at the bottom side of this mechanism. Because, as, because on this JVC you can actually see it, the bottom side. Just something I forgot to show this. There on this motor there is the manufacturing date, December 91. And this JVC VCR. And there yeah, the drum motor is different. And here this is uh, still there. This is there this is there on this uh, VCR2. The this disc. And uh, here the, there is a uh, head cleaner, auto head cleaner. And uh, I'm going to let it there since it's a, 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 it is a still in good condition and as you can see the drum is very clean. So this one does it, its job well. So right now we're going to insert the tapes in the, at the same time in the two VCRs. So they loaded pretty much at the same speed. So they are quite uh, synchronized. So right now we're going to press eject uh, on the two VCRs at the same time. So they were almost uh, synchronized. Here there is the bottom side of uh, the mechanism of uh, this JVC VCR. And as you can see here this, this is the sliding plate that uh, I was uh, talking about. And uh, well, this ma this mechanism uses a, a rubber belt for the capstan. So the, the capstan motor uh, is uh, is linked to the this pulley here using this uh, rubber belt. And I think some uh, some better models use a two-tied belt, use a, a two-tied belt instead of a rubber belt. So now we're going to fast forward, you, it will unload the tape. So yeah, on this VCR the bottom side is accessible because uh, the circuit board is located on the, the top instead of the bottom, unlike uh, this, this other JVC. And uh, but the top side is more interesting because there is a cam gear and a loading motor. And uh, right here there is uh, the, 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 I think that is the bottom of the cam gear. Now we need to take a look at this, uh, these gears for, that uh, load the tape guys. Right here, you can see a part of the uh, the pulley. And 
you can see that part that moves into the this pulley for the ejecting mechanism. As you can see, there is a part of gear that uh, moves into the pulley. So that's pretty interesting how uh, how the ejecting mechanism works on this VCR. And uh, well, right now that's pretty much the end of my video. So uh, yeah, I'll see you later for another video.